from Los Angeles to a worldwide audience, this is Boaz Power TV, where we take your life to the next level. Now, internationally known speaker and author, here's Boaz. Hi, welcome to The Power Show. You are part of The Power Nation, and I'm so delighted that you're here. Here we help you improve your attitude, your relationships, your finances, and your career. This is episode number 143 on Boaz Power TV, and I call this one Never, Never, Never Give Up. Winston Churchill, during one of the toughest moments in World War II, rallied the British people by giving one of the most stirring, shortest, yet most eloquent speeches in history. It consisted of only a few words, yet it said volumes about an inner attitude that is found in champions. Churchill rose before a large audience and simply said, never, 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 never give up. The theme of this speech came to life at the 2004 Summer Olympics in Greece. You may recall this when an American, Paul Ham, miraculously won the gold medal in the men's gymnastics all-around competition. Even though there was some controversy afterwards, that doesn't take away from the message here and from the attitude of this incredible athlete. As a warm-up to the Olympics, Paul had won the World All-Around Gold Medal at the World Championships in Anaheim, California in the summer of 2003. Coming to this event in Athens, he was favored to also win gold at the Olympics. Thus, it was with high expectations and much media hype that Paul arrived in Greece in August of 2004. The All-Around Men's Gymnastics program at the Olympics consisted of six events, the floor exercise, the pummel horse, the steel rings, the vault, the parallel bars, and the high bar. Competing on these apparatus at the Olympic level takes many years of intense preparation, tremendous strength, great agility, and an abundance of determination. Paul and his twin brother, who also competed at the 2004 Summer Olympics, um, started their gymnastics career at an early age. As youngsters, they used to swing from the rafters in the barn on the family farm in Waukesha, Wisconsin. Now the bar was at a different level, the top competition in the world. And that competition for this 21-year-old proved to be pretty stiff on August 18, 2004 at the Olympics. He faced the best from around the world, including two outstanding Koreans and China's Yang Wei. The Chinese gymnast was the 2000 Olympic and 2003 world silver medalist. I was watching the competition on television that evening and rooting for Paul. There was something about him that I liked, a dogged determination that was exemplified in his mannerisms and in the look in his eyes. In the first event of the evening, the floor exercise, Paul and Yang both came through with solid performances and tied for first place with scores of 9.725. Paul got a 9.7 on the pummel horse but fell behind Yang on the rings. At that point, Yang was ahead with a lead of 0.037. This is a sport where thousands of a point can make all the difference between one medal and another or no medal at all. Yang was first on the vault. His slightly lower score of 9.512 opened the door for Paul to move ahead if he were to get a higher score on his vault. That's when it happened. Disaster of the greatest magnitude in sports. In what was to be a spectacular vault, Paul didn't rotate enough and literally sat down on his landing. In fact, he almost fell off the podium and nearly hit a judge. The hush in the crowd and the shock in the voices of the television commentators could only begin to describe the stunning turn of events for Paul. An opportunity to move into first place had within seconds floundered and pushed him way down in the standings. His 9.137 score put him in 12th place apparently out of contention for a medal. Years of preparation seemed to lead to a disastrous end. Paul sat down on the sidelines, stunned. Well, as the old, old saying goes, champions do what has to be done, when it has to be done, whether they feel like it or not. In the tradition of never, never, never give up, Paul approached the parallel bars and performed brilliantly. 
Some of the other top competitors had problems with the same apparatus. However, one of the Korean competitors got a 9.775 and took over first place. As some of the gymnasts in 6th through 11th place started faltering on some of their events, Paul moved up to 4th place. He was within striking distance of a medal when he approached the high bar, his strongest event. Well, you didn't have to be a gymnast to see that he was giving the performance of a lifetime when started when he started a technically difficult routine on the high bar. He was crisp, he was sharp, he showed great confidence. This was a do or die moment. How would each of us perform if we knew there was no second chance? He had no idea at the moment that he needed a score of more than 9.825 to move from fourth place to the gold medal. It was just moments after he nailed his landing that the arena erupted when the scoreboard flashed 9.837 for Paul. He had won the Olympic gold medal by 0 0.012, the closest margin of victory in Olympic history. This was truly one of the most dramatic comebacks in sports history and will emblazon the name of Paul Ham as one of the greatest male U.S. gymnasts of all time. A stunned Paul Ham, upon realizing what he had accomplished, stated, I'm proud of myself, I realized my dream, and I never, never gave up. What a wonderful, powerful message for all of us. So the affirmation for this episode of Boaz Power TV, you may want to write it down. It is strong. I will keep on keeping on no matter how many hurdles I face. I am a champion. I will keep on keeping on no matter how many hurdles I face. I am a champion. And by the way, as you see over my shoulder, you may want to make yourself one of these signs on bright yellow paper, greatest contrast in advertising, yellow and black. Every day I play like a champion. Every day I play like a champion. And do a high five on it every day. It's amazing what it'll do for your attitude. And if you have employees, put this up all over your company, put your logo on it, make it personal. At home, put it up, have your kids touch it. Incredible things will happen. If you like these messages and many people around the world find them highly beneficial, please do me a favor, forward this to five people you know. Suggest they go to my website, boazpower.com, and they can also subscribe to the free weekly broadcast of Boaz Power TV. You are special, you are unique, you are destined for greatness. I see it in you. You are a champion. Have a powerful day. This has been Boaz Power TV. To comment, see other episodes, or to subscribe to this free broadcast, go to our blog at boazpower.com. That's boazpower.com. We're here to take your life to the next level.